What's good YouTube, Nathan Mask Collector. Back with another Mail Week video. Um, again, loaded up with Hoops Premium cards. Uh, a lot of Christian Wood again. And some other folks here. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, that would be awesome. Uh, like the video if you enjoy it. And hit that bell for any notifications uh, for when I put on new videos. Um, so Mail Week, this is probably from... January 30th through uh, today, which is February 5th. Um, and we'll see what we got here. So obviously there's more cards coming. I got a bunch more ordered, but um, they started to pot up in my desk and I just kind of want to put them back in their storage boxes. Week by week type of thing, get them organized so I don't get overwhelmed with it. But I'll start out with these. Um, <clears throat> Bowman's Best Honor Roll cards again. So this one here is uh, Anthony Hardaway on one side and Chris Weber on the back, on the front, I should say. Well, this is actually the back because it says uh, Refractor on that part. And it's got the different font here. Um, but that's generally the back. Let me see the, the number. So, super cool. You know, not really expensive, but I just like these cards, just trying to get the set. Now, uh, and then I got Kevin Garnett. This is his uh, second, his second year card. And also Jerry Stackhouse is on the back of these. These are not easy to, to grade. Um, one, there's two sides, two faces, basically. Um, the, the coating on it is not that great, so it scratches pretty easily. So you gotta really, you know, there's they look great through the top loaders. You don't see anything wrong with them until you take the, uh, the sleeve off and then you can really see all the little surface scratches and things like that this one here is pretty clean though i got this one in today um i got it cheap too i like under ten dollars i want to say it was six bucks and it's perfectly centered i think um on both sides almost a uh, little you know, could go this way a little bit more, but damn, looks pretty good. Rodman or Arvidas Sabonis. Uh, another Jordan Noara. Place for the Bucks. Really good shooter. Someday he makes it somewhere big. Got his base, you know, his uh, rookie card there type of thing. Um, couple of Siku Nambuya cards. Um, I bought into a break for hoops and it was uh, like a hoops blaster. It was a mega box or was some cell packs. It had a whole bunch of stuff. I think I paid like 10, 12 bucks for the, the pistons, you know, hoping to get Christian wood stuff. And, um, there's nothing in there. I got these two, and I think I might have got a Blake Griffin or something like that, but these are the only ones worth, you know, saving. Um, and then, I guess the whole moral of that little story is, you know, buy the card you want. Spend all that money going to the breaks, you can just get the card that you want most times. Um, Colin Sexton. So, uh, I got five of his just regular base. NBA Hoops Premium stock. And then um, I got some of his uh, Pulsar Prisms. So we got one. These are, man, they just look so great. Twenty-two of the Pulsar Prisms. 
And these are getting, you know, I'm buying these in like lots of nine, lots of 10, lots of 20 at a time. Um, it's just such a good deal. You know, you're paying two bucks a card or less. I think I got, you know, most of these balance out to about a buck a card. You know, this is a second year premium stock Pulsar Prisms. I just think there's tremendous value here. <clears throat> um, a couple of uh, regular silvers, which look fantastic. So cool. Um, I have one lightning laser, whatever you want to call it. I think it's laser. Got a scope. Cool. And then a purple disco for the last Colin Sexton in this stock stack. <clears throat> so getting a pretty good pile of Colin Sexton right now along with the Christian Wood stuff. Not as much as Christian Wood, but when I see some that are, you know, low numbered or something, I'm gonna try to snag some stuff. Um, so Christian Wood again, man, I don't know. This was so yesterday, February 4th, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Uh, the same ankle that he hurt about a month ago. Um, came down on John Morant's foot and just rolled it right over. So he's probably going to be out a few weeks, I would think, at least. So five regular base, 10, make that 10, there's five more here. And then we'll start out with the, with the big ones that I've gotten recently. Um, so this one here is a purple cracked ice. And this one is numbered to 25, so it's four out of 25. Really like that. Like the numbered ones, trying to get the rainbow. Um, two teal prisms, uh, these there's not as many of these out there um, and just kind of track in the, the, the auctions and the bidding and everything. These are now going for over 45 bucks a piece, like 50 bucks a piece with shipping right now. And I've been getting them for 10, 12, I think I might've paid 20 for one, but um, yeah, the scarcity of these it's compared to some of the other ones is driving that. Uh, one, two, so I got four of the blue cracked ice. These are not numbered. The teal ones are not numbered either. They're just regular colored parallels, but they're one of the more scarce ones. Four of the red cracked. This is a red pulsar. Again, it's one of those uh, lower print, short, short prints. Not numbered. Um, seven purple discos. Four greens. You guys think I'm probably just absolutely nuts for buying all these. Two flash silvers, five of the laser, three mojo silvers. We got these are all the um, silvers I have prisms. Thank you. 
16 of the silver prisms. And then we get into the pulsars, which I have another pretty big stack of. So we got one, two, three. Twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two total. Um, I ran out of uh, top loaders, not top loaders, but penny sleeves and stuff. So, but these were uh, these two were not the best condition, so I just stuck them in one of these bigger top loaders. Same with these two. So that's what it is there. But you know, thirty-two more of these for the stack that I've already got. And that's pretty much it um, for this round. I'm gonna get these put away, but thanks for checking it out. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in, tuning in and, and watching my content. Uh, really, really appreciate that. <clears throat> uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that stuff. Hit the bell for new notifications when that comes out. And we will see you in the next video. All right, thank you. See you in the next one.